What's up YouTube, Metal Cabana here, and I know I've been gone for a while, I'm back now, <laughs> alright, and I'm here with my iPhone 4, and I'm going to show you guys the best applications to get on firmware 4.2.1, jailbroken, and as you probably know, that there is a new jailbreak out for iPhone 4, 4.2.1 firmware, untethered, green poison, it just came out like two days ago I think, and uh, even if you're already jailbroken and tethered on Red Snow, just jailbreak again on Green Poison and you'll be untethered. Okay? It's absolutely awesome. Amazing. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to show you guys some cool tweaks and apps that are good for um, 4.2.1 firmware. Okay? iPhone 4. Alright. Or iPod Touch 4. Whatever you're running. Alright. First things first. Um, I'm going to show you guys action menu. Now, what action menu is, ignore that. That's just my little program. It's free sync, whatever. Um, let's say you have, you're sending a text message and you want to copy some, I guess, copy and paste something off the web or something. Uh, okay, well, what you would do is you, it brings up a a bunch of more like more options let's say you copy and paste the things in the past they'd show up here I haven't really copy and pasted much on the pasteboard history oops close and um, you can get a bunch of stuff it's just a bunch of you can do uh, countless amount of commands and whatnot and that's um, action oops that's action menu. Next thing I'm going to show you is fake clock up. What that is is this crazy program. It allows you to speed up the amount of time. It's the amount of time your iPhone takes to open things. Like as you can see, mine is crazy fast. It's projected on the screen, so it might be quite as fast as it is on my in my hand. So let's say I'm opening settings. Usually that would take a little while. Let me quit it first so that it doesn't just boot up from the multitask. Right. Oh yeah, you just saw that. I'll show you that in a second. Um, okay, it's it's crazy fast. Okay, it's incredible, and you can speed it up to even faster. You can you can pick how much faster it is. Okay, you can you can go all the way up to ten times faster. <laughs> that it will open up. I don't recommend that though because when you get calls, your spring like your springboard will crash or. Yes, I think crash, and then once it's done doing that, you can pick up your phone call, but it's not very cool. Anyway, next thing I want to show you guys is barrel. This allows you to change the transitions on your uh, springboard. Let's say I want to make my transition a cube, then I just pick that and check this out. My spring, my transition is now a cube. Awesome. I had this. I had the uh, page fade on, but you couldn't really tell because the projection is kind of laggy. All right, so I'm gonna run page fade right now. I'll try to go slow, so you guys can see. And there, that was that. This pretty amazing. Okay, next <laughs> tweak mod. Okay, it's called multi cleaner. And what multi cleaner does is it enhances the switchboard and multitasking bar. All right. So let's say you know you have to hold this down, and for the little red slashes to come up. Well, instead I can just slide them out of the um, multitask bar to quit them. Okay. So let's say I want to quit me messages. Here it is. I'll just slide it out. And it's gone. Pretty classy. All right. Next is oh, and actually a theme. As you may notice, when you first jailbreak and you download Winterboard, you'll have your normal icons. I mean, your know your normal uh, uh, fonts and whatnot. And 
they'll have the shadow on the back of them. When you download mo um, Winterboard, they'll show up gray with and really hard to read. What you need to do is first of all turn off Summerboard, and then they'll be projected white, but they won't have the shadow in back of them. Then what you need to do is you need to download better white icon labels from Cydia. Then just run that. Um, and then it should be back to normal. Alright, next week is a program hmm, called Icon Renamer. Let's say you don't like the name of one of your apps. You can first go into um, grid mode so you can move around things. Then you're just going to double tap an icon and it, it comes up this little rename box and you can rename it whatever you want. Okay? Pretty simple. It's called the icon renamer. Free sync. That's what I'm running right now. I'm plugged up to my computer and I can sync whenever I want. Uh, and I can also use my device at the same time. Okay? Next one is... I guess 3D board. Okay, 3D board is pretty cool. As you can see, it uses the motion sensor in your phone with the background you picked. So let me change my background to something a little more noticeable. London Bridges. Alright. Uh, okay, I'm going to turn it on. And what it changes the depth down. And what it does is it's going to make my wallpaper behind me move whenever I move my device. As you can see, it's laggy, but it's not laggy on my actual screen. It's moving around whenever I move my device. It's really cool. Show your friends in the big. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Alright, next. Uh, actually, the last one I'm going to show you is the live clock. Okay, now, the live clock is uh, I, this tweak that you download in Cydia, and it makes your clock, as you can see, live. <laughs> Right, and it is now 10:30, and it's 10:30 on the clock. And the short, I mean, the second hand is moving with the seconds. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I got to show you today. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Sorry, I haven't been out with many videos. I've been busy lately, and uh, yeah, make sure to comment. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.